I sat down with Dr. Nasser Mahdi in his office in Geneva. He carefully listened to my concerns, and then he showed me this really cool chart MD codes created by Dr. Maurizio De Maio. The chart has eight different emotional attributes. He asked me to choose those that reflect my wishes the most, so I chose look less tired, look less saggy, look younger. These eight emotional attributes are essentially new tool to help cosmetic physicians to better understand patient's underlying feelings. It helped me too to understand better what results am I trying to achieve. So based on my wishes, Dr. Nasser Mahdi created my personalized chart. There's always bone loss in this area and hollowing and any hollowing will make us look older. So we, if we observe this area, this temple hollowing by filling it will improve the structure of the periorbital area, which is the area around the eye, will improve the position of the lateral eyebrow here mm -hmm. and will give a smoother contour. So it's part of a contouring treatment of the mm -hmm. face. Typically, when we treat this area on the zygomatic arch, we will improve the nasolabial fold indirectly because the current approach for treatment of the face is to do lateral injections. We can notice that this area is also a little bit hollow. And when we treat these areas here, we have an impact on the face here. So it actually makes the face a little bit slimmer. The treatment would be the temples, the lateral zygomatic arch here. The idea is to make this area a bit less heavy. What would we do in the middle? We would need to fill a little bit here, this area, especially here, it's a bit emptier. We can see yeah. that there's a triangle. This can be fixed. It's not a problem. Then we do a deep treatment on the bone. So okay. usually there's no bruising because the axis is from here okay. and we treat under the bone. Okay. The nasolabial folds may be filled a little bit. That's not a problem. Here, this dimple, some people like it, some don't. For those who don't like it, it can be filled with okay. the product. I agree with you that the contour of the chin in general is very nice. What I find is that your lip is a little bit bigger here than here mm -hmm. and with an emptiness here. And I think it would look a little bit better if we improved this tool is really cool it vibrates so i'm just gonna like press it some places when the doctor starts i do feel a little like pressure yeah. but no pain or a bit of lidocaine which is the local anesthetic okay. present inside the gel that we are injecting which is oh, okay a I see. it lifts the eye a little mm -hmm. bit makes it more energetic looking, which is part of the treatment of mm -hmm. making people look less tired. And you can see here, oh, yes. it's very visible. And look at the difference. It and it's comes basically, down. it's contoured, you see? <gasps> look at that. Very well contoured. Like this part ends here and this goes down. Mm -hmm. all, all this area, which less, looks less saggy now. Mm -hmm. And this is what gives the natural look is by lateral lift mm -hmm. rather than filling in these areas mm -hmm. here. Okay. Now we're going to treat this area a little bit to give it a bit more support, mm -hmm. just a little bit. So, we, so that would create a little fuller cheek, Exactly, right? exactly. So now we're going also to enter with a cannula. Just feel like a little pinch. Mm -hmm. So now, Now what we see here that this area is extremely homogeneous mm -hmm. and that we don't have this sagging. We can see mm -hmm. here a triangular sag. And it feels very natural to the touch, like if you feel here. And already your eye looks less tired here. I think it already lifted a little yeah, bit. Exactly. I think that's enough. Now that looks very good. And we can see again the beautiful effect on the tail of the eyebrow and the fullness wow. here and the nice contour. So this is one of the most important and rewarding treatments. Including in young patients who do a lot of sports, it's quite common to have hollowing mm -hmm. uh, because of loss of fat in the face. Mm -hmm. And these patients very often look a bit older, even though they're fit and they're sporty, but they do look a bit older. Yeah, so let's summarize. We've treated uh, 
Christina Stemples here with Voluma, which is the thickest product, as well as in the cheekbones and the lateral cheeks. These are products that are firm and promotes lifting. Now in the cheek, lips and the nasolabial folds, we use Volift, which is a product that's softer, it's intermediate, mm -hmm. and allows to have a more natural movement. You can see here that when I touch, I don't mm -hmm. feel any filler. And this allows more mobility. And finally, when we will treat the chin, we will be using a more robust product, which will give a bit of structure, as in the chin, the main problem often is bone loss. Nasolabial folds are present in kids. Mm -hmm. They're part of our facial expression. They're not supposed to be completely removed. And when mm -hmm. people are removed completely, if you look at this like this, yes. it doesn't look good. It changes the feature yes, of the person. So now we're going to treat the chin area. The chin area here in this area, typically we lose bone and the structure becomes less uh, defined. And you can see here that's the bit of hollowing. And then we sometimes what we do is we see the muscles actually uh, working. And because the tissues uh, are a bit too strong, we call this muscle tissue discord, meaning the muscle kind of overpowers the tissues. So I'm going to start by injecting this area from here by a little pinch. So as you can see, Christina doesn't move. So this is a treatment by cannula again, because it's, we can distribute the product very evenly in this chin area. And you don't have to make so many um, injections, Exactly, right? I, I, I have one entry point I distribute the product, it will have an effect also on the angle of the mouth and on all these irregularities that we mentioned before. But we can see here that this area is much more uh, smooth. We here we have this like a dent. So guys, I was born with a little like a um, dent here on my chin and there are people who love it and those that don't like, I don't like it so I'm gonna Ask the doctor to cover this for me. Is it easy to do? Yeah. So we go on the bone. This one by far was actually, it's not painful, it just was uncomfortable. Yeah. So the lips are the most painful part to inject, and that's why when I arrived, the doctor gave me the cream, and my lips are very, very numb. So now we're going to do a bit of lip enhancement. So open slightly in my mouth, yeah. So we're doing something very, very subtle because you already have nice lips, but just a, a bit of lifting effect. I'm gonna go on the other side. Wow. <laughs> Let's see Wow, that's exactly what I wanted. You see, this it's more balanced are... here. Mm -hmm. uh, you had a bit more volume here. Mm -hmm. I think I will still put a drop there. The corners are straight. The upper lips are more lifted. Oh, it's still so natural, and yet it's exactly what I want. So a bit here on the lateral side, mm -hmm. a bit in the middle. Mm -hmm. Same thing there. And here I injected a bit here, a bit in the middle. I still want to add a tiny, there's an area here of emptiness. Trying to do these Cupid's bow, which are lines that people have that tend to disappear with years. And redefining them gives a bit of a lift to the lip and is nice. called Juva Pen, which allows for more precise uh, dosing of the Botox units, and also a very thin needle called the Invisible Needle, which is the thinnest needle on the market, so ensuring a very comfortable 
uh, treatment. Botox is used for the upper face to treat expression wrinkles, mainly in the forehead, the uh, cross feet, and here the uh, wrinkles between the two eyes. Also, Botox helps, uh, helps reshape the eyebrows, for example, by uh, increasing the height of the tail of the, of the eyebrow, as well as opening the eyes. So basically, Botox has three roles. It promotes eye opening, promotes eyebrow lifting, and uh, reduces wrinkles. All these will make patients look less tired, more energetic, and it's very possible to obtain natural results by doing that, by injecting the proper dose for each patient according to their muscle activity and also their desire. Every patient wants a certain look, whether it's more or less uh, mobility, and that's something that we discuss always with our patients. So now we're gonna start with the treatment. So let's go, we're gonna treat here the eyebrow. So with Botox treatment, we always see little blebs like this in the scan, which is normal because the Botox must be injected superficially because the muscles are adherent to the skin and if Botox is injected too deep, it will not produce the exactly same effect. Okay guys, we finished the treatment and as you can see, I have all these little red dots on my face. This came from Botox. Um, here we did lots of treatment, but I'm not luckily I'm not bleeding and um, I don't think there will be any bruising. Um, I didn't have the pain level. It's maybe for me was on the level of three, four. I did most of the treatment without any um, numbing cream except for the lip area. The Botox treatment will start kicking in. In some patients, it can be as early as 24 hours, but on average, it's three to four days. And then it will continue producing its effects until 15 days. Most people have their full effect by the 10th, 12th day, but up to 15 days. So it's a progressive effect. With the filler, what can happen with the filler in the first two, three days is a bit of local swelling is possible. So sometimes the effect you see right after injection is a bit superior to the final effect. So people should not be worried about that. Also, the product sometimes attracts some water and that may make it a bit more firm than it will eventually become or than it is when you leave actually the treatment session. So that's something not to worry about. A slight pain in the injection area is possible. For example, when we inject the temple area, what can happen is that because of the muscle that helps us open our jaw is attached there, they might be a bit tender when you eat and when you try to masticate. Mm -hmm. So that can be solved with a, with a pill of paracetamol if needed. Uh, the area here is injected on bone as well as the chin and these also might be a little bit tender which is uh, normal because we're injecting on bone and there are lots of nerve endings. Mm -hmm. Bruises are possible. In this case, we did not have that much bruising but they're usually tiny little bruises. We do not get yeah, big I, I bruising. Yeah, I don't see any, exactly. anything here. So that's all. Okay. I think it's a very successful treatment. We'll see the results in two weeks. Okay. I Sounds think. It looks great and Christina was a great patient <laughs> and very, very patient and she did not budge or move. Good. And Thank we, you, doctor, very much.